This video will go over how to install an ACI drop-in module for System Amp and Cisco SA housings. ACI offers high gain and low gain duals, balance and unbalanced triples, and line extenders. Begin by prepping the module before installing it into the housing. The high gain and low gain duals come with jumpers pre-installed. Port 2 is disabled by default. Use a jumper, splitter, or directional coupler to configure the high gain or low gain duals according to system design. The direction of the through port is indicated on the top of the directional couplers. The forward input and reverse output padding and equalization come without pads installed. They are set up using standard JXP pads. Refer to the amplifier you are replacing or padding EQ according to system design to achieve ballpark levels and prepare the module for setup. If cable equivalent equalization is needed for a housing with a short run of cable leading into it, you can pop out the pre-installed pad adjustable AEQ and replace it with a pad adjustable ACEQ. Ensure that all four power directors are inserted in the stop position. Now that the amp has been prepped, remove the module you are looking to replace. Our drop-in modules come with a bag of seizure screws included in the box. If you are replacing a system amp module with 10 amp seizure screws in the housing, make sure to take those out and replace with the included 15 amp seizure screws. If the amp already has 15 amp seizure screws, replace as needed. The power pack is built into the module. If you are replacing a module with an external power pack in the housing lid, you can either remove the old power pack or leave it in the lid. Install the ACI drop-in. Torque the RF module's four mounting screws between 30 to 50 inch pounds. Starting with the port that will be powering the amplifier, configure the power directors one by one as needed. After powering up the amp, the DSM AGC will take a moment to turn on, then it will begin to flash blue on and off. This indicates that the DSM AGC is in manual mode. Balance the levels on the amp. When balancing an amp with the DSM SG AGC installed, there is no need to use the S1 switch, so simply leave the S1 switch set to position 3 and use JXP pads to set the tilt and levels as you normally would. Plug the connector cable into the DSM, then plug the controller into the cable. The controller LED will flash red and blue for a few seconds while it syncs up, then it will turn solid blue to indicate that the DSIM is still in manual mode. The controller is used to upload the pilot channel into the DSIM and place it into AGC mode. The back of the controller shows what channel it is programmed for. The mode button cycles through the three available modes. Clicking it while in manual mode will switch the DSIM into AGC mode. Clicking again will switch the DSIM to thermal body mode. Clicking once more will cycle the DSM back to manual mode. The plus and minus buttons are only needed when setting up in extremely hot or extremely cold conditions. If the outside temperature is between 40 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, there is no need to use the plus and minus buttons. If it is extremely hot or cold out, you can use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the body position for optimal performance. Refer to this chart for recommended adjustments. For example, if the weather outside is above 100 degrees, tap the plus button on the controller a couple times to raise the level reading on your meter by 2 dB. Then, change the pad at the input to get back to system design levels. Now that the amp is balanced and an extreme temperature adjustment was made if it was needed, press the mode button on the controller to cycle the DSIM over to AGC mode. The controller will flash blue and red for about 30 seconds while it uploads the pilot channel into the DSIM and the DSIM locks onto the pilot. When the alignment is finished, the controller will flash blue on and off rapidly, indicating that the DSIM is now in AGC mode. Remove the controller from the cable, then remove the cable from the DSIM, and the amp setup is complete. While in AGC mode, the LED on the DSIM will flash a pattern representing the pilot channel it is locked onto. In this example, the DSIM is set to channel 88 digital. Here we see 8 quick blinks to represent 80, another 8 quick blinks to represent 8, and then 2 long blinks to represent digital, as opposed to just 1 long blink, which would represent analog. Here are some of the examples of blinking patterns for other channels. AC power can be tested at the solder point above the 24 volt test connector as shown. AC power can also be tested at any power director location. If a power director is in the stop position, AC power can be verified at that location without interrupting service. 
24 volt DC power can be verified at the test connector as shown. You can adjust any forward output pad by up to plus or minus 3 dB if needed. 